Western salsify captured my imagination during the summer of 2012. I initially found it growing on a hill in a local park that used to be Winnipeg's garbage dump. In the June of that year, I scanned its shockingly unique flowers. Their abnormally large bracts radially frame the false petals, which are actually called ray flowers. Watch these different scenes of interplay between the green bracts and yellow ray flowers. The ray flowers then frame what are called disc flowers in the center, which are tinged with black. Although the flowers are exquisite, I don't believe that they prepare one for what comes next. Outdoors I had seen how this plant's seed heads turned into fist-shaped spheres of achenes, ready to float away as dandelion seeds do. With this in mind I took an unopened seed head from an unsuspecting plant and cut it in half. My multiple scanners were full at the time, so I haphazardly made room on one of them and put the cross section on. Akeen's facing downwards. Evidently I hadn't thought this all through. The seed head half quickly started to morph into its characteristic spherical form, rudely interfering with the neighboring flowers that had been desiccating on the scanner over the past few days. In the process, it surrounded a neighboring western salsify flower, graced a pink hydrangea flower, pulled up a leaf on a forget-me-not plant, and roughly engulfed and shoved aside the vetch flower that had dared to stand in its way. After watching the footage, I was astounded that I was able to capture such a beautiful process from the most pedestrian of plants. The first part of this plant's fascinating dance of dissemination commences when the bracts start to peel away, allowing the achenes to begin to spread apart. The many fibers of the papai then open into dense networks that allow the seed to sail through the air. One of my favorite parts of the whole process is that you can see the fibers of each pappus that touches the glass in incredible detail. The cross sections that I've captured show a fascinating gradient between white and yellow on the Akin, in addition to revealing a very interesting texture on the base of each one. During the summer of 2013, I scanned two western salsify plants together. The dynamics created by the many seed heads opening in close proximity to each other makes for a few very interesting scenes. In these sequences, one can see how the papai of the Achenes remain closed for a while, despite the fact that the Achenes themselves are forming a sphere. During the summer of 2012, I scanned six seed head cross sections. I must not have picked them at the right time, because they failed to fully open. Initially I disregarded this footage because they hadn't performed as I had expected them to but then came to see how incredibly unique it was. The footage shows eerie, skeleton-like forms being created in the unsuccessful openings. These look beautiful, and also show how the papai emerge from the seed heads while closed. The ethereal tips of the papai evidence the complexity of the network that would have emerged had the specimen fully opened.
I find the way that these two seed heads rest upon each other as they open very compelling.